Hey everybody, it's Lee here. Uh, I thought to start 2023 off, we'd do a little studio tour for you. So we're in a building now, uh, two floors. The downstairs is where we film our keyboard videos and the upstairs where I am now is where we film the guitar videos. Uh, and I thought I'd show you uh, what you see in front of the camera and then we're going to have a little look at what's behind the camera. So, first of all, we've got a whole selection of amplifiers behind me. And again, these have typically been chosen to give us a selection of sounds from good clean amplifiers to demonstrate pedals through. Uh, we've got some familiar amplifiers in your sort of Marshalls and Fenders. Uh, and to be honest with you, we've also tried to introduce some color for 2023 just to make the back of the studio look a bit more interesting. So we've got these cool pink and blue Friedmans and purple Soldanos and all that kind of stuff. But it's really just a selection of amplifiers to give us some uh, a nice palette of tones. Uh, we're using an Ampete amp switcher for about five of the amplifiers so we can quickly switch between different ones. That's very cool. And again, miking up, uh, nothing terribly revolutionary here. We've got a, a couple of SM57s that we'll use and then we'll supplement those either with a, an SM7B or a, a Roya 121. We're very fortunate to have a Roya. It's an expensive old microphone. Guitars wise, you can see around the edge of the room again, Lots and lots of guitars that we've gathered uh, up over the time. But again, we'll typically try and stick to guitars that you guys will find familiar. So if we're demonstrating pedals or amplifiers, you can get a sense of, oh yeah, that's what it sounds like with a Tele or a Les Paul or something like that. Pedals, holy moly, we get sent a lot of pedals and typically the brands that send us pedals don't ask for them back. So as you can see around the studio are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pedals. Uh, quite often with these pedals, they've never been plugged in again after the first time. Uh, I will just quickly show you my board and Pete's board. So at the start of um, 2023, this is what it is, hasn't changed much since the end of um, 2022 so again lots of drive pedals uh delays reverbs choruses switching units um that's my pedal board and then pete's is let's whiz over here pete's is uh i guess a similar kind of vibe lots of drive pedals bit of compression fuzz um and then a a, a, a reverb and a delay from strymon so they're, they're the pedal boards and again they will change during the year, I guess, as we just try different things. So over here is typically where Oz will be, or if Pete's filming, where Pete will be. And we use the Sony A7S Mark III cameras, uh, and we'll typically have uh, three different angles, uh, one of which uh, Oz will uh, be moving, and the other two will remain static. And then, uh, just up here, we've got an overhead camera with a couple of overhead mics, so again, if the, we're doing pedal uh, reviews or something like that and you want to see uh, a bird's eye view of stuff, that's this camera here. It gives us like a fourth angle. Um, and again, if we're room miking, which we don't typically do a lot of the time, but if we're room miking, we'll hang some mics up from here to get a sense of the sound. So we've got some um, fairly powerful LED lights sat behind these diffusers here, and that just gives us a nice constant uh, light level in the room. Uh, another overhead microphone here. Uh, what is that? Aston, I'm not really sure to be honest with you. An Aston microphone, Aston Spirit microphone. So all the microphones uh, that we're that are in this room are plugged into the stage box and routed through uh, to the control room with a great big long kind of loom. Uh, over here, every studio needs some glittery uh, clothes to wear from time to time, and of course, most importantly, possibly the most valuable asset in the entire studio is our Technivore Mocha Master <laughs> coffee machine. Well, there's two rooms. I don't know which is most important. Some would say this one. Uh, I don't even know, I mean, I know why we have a toilet. I'm not sure why we have a bath and a shower. We just always have. I mean, I guess if you perhaps filmed a particularly dirty overdrive pedal video, <laughs> maybe you'd need a bath afterwards. Uh, through here. Hello, everybody. Mr. Pete, tell Hello. us what you're doing. Well, this is the uh, sort of main control room up here. This is where we sort of record all the stuff and edit. So where I just sit here and, uh, you know, get my head down and, uh, you know, get into it. We use uh, Final Cut for the editing. Um, super simple. It's easy. We know how it works. It's quick. So we, we've got our thing going on so we can do that quickly. Uh, we're using Logic, as you can see here to record what we're recording, going coming through the stage box, and that's all going into our universal audio. So we've got the 8P, X8Ps, two of those, and a, and a twin here. So we've got 16 
channels ish we can record on so if we do have you know, a session of some kind we can record that too um, and that's basically it so that's you know we use Mac um, and you know that's it isn't that's it? it you know it's pretty simple uh, we use DPL lapel, lapel mics. And, DPA. Uh, DPA, sorry, not DPL. What is I that? That's a sh shipping company, isn't it? Is it DHL? DHL, DHL <laughs> DPD, and uh, U DHS. UPS. UPS. Yeah, and UPS. Uh, no, yeah. DPA lapel mics. There, there yeah. must admit, these mics uh, are not. They're not commonly found in music stores. These are sort of like broadcast level yeah, they lapel are. mics. Yeah. Uh, we used Shure before, like much, much more affordable Shure lapel mics. Yeah. And honestly, they're like 95% as good, yeah. but there's that little bit of extra. Yeah, we need the extra. Uh, little yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to tell you about the, we, when we record, we do use a couple of plugins um, to, to run it through. And uh, there's lots of hats and um, pedals everywhere, as you as Lee mentioned. Yo, yo. So there you go. That was just a quick whirlwind tour of our studio. Yeah. Uh, if you've got any questions or you'd like us to focus in on something more deeply, uh, then comment below and maybe we'll do another follow up video to this. But yeah. I just thought, you know, yeah. uh, that's the beginning of 2023. Yeah. Please yeah. like and subscribe because we're shooting videos in here pretty much every day. Every day. And you can win some stuff. So there you are. Peace.